What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new trucking vlog. Before the video gets started, I actually want to tell you guys that this is not the phase rug video. That video will go live on Friday. We had some little technical difficulties in the editing and I don't want to rush the process. I kind of just want to hold off onto it until Friday. That being said, in this video, I get pulled into my very first ever truck scale. I always go through the scales and I've never gotten pulled in. Today, that changed. Also, we cooked some Japanese A5 wag with some ramen in the back of my truck. I tried to get um, some gaming in, but then we run into a little problem. This is more of a relaxing video. I hope you guys still enjoy this video. Sit back, relax. In California, it's a little bit rainy today, so if you got some rain, get some popcorn, relax, get snuggled up, and let's start this video. Vamos! This is what a full inspection um, is right here. All right, boss. Like I said before, we're gonna be doing a level one. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna need your license, your registration, and you're empty, so we don't need shipping papers. Okay. Open up your door real quick, okay? Yeah, you're good. Here's my license. Just All right, Alexis, where are you coming from right now? Uh, San Diego. San Diego. Thank you. And you're headed to? Uh, Dainuba. Where? where Dainuba. Dainuba? Yeah. All right, you got a logbook by chance? Or um, yeah, my no, I have a, I have a logbook right here. All right, okay, so let me see. This one. So, this might be an issue. Oh uh, well, I wasn't working. I went to go film a video. Okay. So, I haven't worked since like yeah. Okay. It was just my first. I went to go film a video with Face Rug. I don't know if you know who that is. Yeah, yeah I, I want to go for my video with him, and so I just came over here. Okay. So you don't do this? No, 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 oh, yeah. no. Yeah, I, I don't. All right. So you're good. You meet one of the exemptions. If you're doing it, pretty much, it's eight days out of thirty days. Yeah. That's when you need it on the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're good right now? Yeah. We're fine. We've been working for a while, so. Perfect. Okay, that's fix this. You put seven hours. This is about six something, plus whatever you're driving now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not gonna be seven hours. It's gonna be a little more. Okay. Uh, You're empty the whole time? Yeah. Okay, so right here you can put empty shipping commodity or whatever oh okay you can just write empty in there oh. always sign it at the end of the day oh okay okay but whenever you're done yeah. driving sign it you start in dinuba start in dinuba and you're going back to dinuba i'm going back to dinuba yeah okay so you're only out there for the day yeah i want to go film a video with him and i just okay. came straight back all right sounds good just put dinuba to dinuba okay, okay. There you, go. There you, go. you get to the 31st okay Alright boss, so right now I'm going to do a quick walk around, Okay. just going to be checking your tires and uh -huh. everything like that, Okay. and then uh, once I get back to here, you're just going to pretty much open up your hood, uh -huh. and we're going to continue the inspection in the front, uh -huh. then work our way to the back, okay. okay? Sounds good. So let me do a quick walk around. Okay. Can you open up your hood for me? Yeah. What was that? That's what Pick it up like that. Yeah. I always jump on it and fucking. Yeah, because sometimes if you do that, you can tweak your back. Oh, okay. So, alright, boss. You can jump back in. Okay. So, right now, you're gonna release your parking brake. Okay. Perfect. Alright, boss. So, we're gonna start off with the inspection in the front. Okay. So, right now, you're 
And now you're gonna rock your steering wheel like this. Just do it a little quick and a little, okay. a little hard, okay? All right. Right now? Right now. Okay. Good. All right, so it's a simple one because you got disc brakes, uh -huh. okay? So all you're gonna do right now is you're gonna press and hold on your foot brake. Okay. I'll let you know when to start and when to stop. Mm -hmm. Just hold it as hard as you can, okay? okay? So press and hold on your foot brake right now. All right, boss. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go underneath the truck. Go okay. check your lines and all that stuff. So just sit tight. Okay. Yeah. I'll be right back. Alright, sounds good. So right now put your key in the on position for me. All you're gonna do is you're gonna start pumping your brake. Okay. All the way till your valve pops out. Okay. Nah, I feel like I'm taking my test again. Huh? I feel like I'm taking my test again. Yeah. It's kinda like a pre-trip, but we're just looking for other things. That's yeah. Why. Boss. Right, emergency man. triangles and your fire extinguisher. That's what I got to see next. I don't know if I have emergency triangles. I know I have a fire extinguisher for sure. Extinguisher. Um, I don't know if I have the. I don't think I have the the triangles. So lock this down right now. Uh -huh. That's a violation for not having it. Oh, okay. Having it uh, loose. Emergency triangle is another one. Uh -huh. Another violation. Officer might just tell you just go get some. Uh -huh. I just give you a warning or something like that. Okay. But just always make sure you have your emergency triangles and all that. Okay. All right, guys. So literally right after this happened, my camera died. He didn't give me any of the violations for like the fire extinguisher or the triangles, which was really cool of him because I could have got two violations right there. I don't know why I didn't check the fire extinguisher, and I thought I had the triangles in my truck until he asked me and then I kind of thought about it and I was like, you know what? I, I, I don't have triangles in the back of my truck, which I should. Every truck driver should always have triangles because you just never know when something's gonna go wrong. I'm happy that kind of happened because now I made sure that those triangles are in my truck and that my fire extinguisher is secure. But yeah, after that, he kind of just let me go. I drove a couple miles down, got some sleep, yeah, this next clip is is the, is the next day. This is how serious truck driving is, guys. I mean, y you're driving a huge, huge, huge machine. You gotta you gotta be responsible with it. Um, I admit that was my fault right there. I should have had the triangles and I should have fire extinguisher locked in place. Um, but stuff happens. You slip up and you just gotta learn from it. So now I know that next time I'm not gonna have a cool CHP like how he like how he was. And I could have got two violations right there. I'm not too sure what happens. Cause it's never happened to me. Um, so if you guys know, comment down below. What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new trucking vlog. You can tell tonight we're chilling in the back of my truck. It was raining all day today. So I was hoping to get some rain in the video for it to be more of a relaxing uh, type of video where there's rain hitting the truck and all that stuff. But it stopped raining, uh, just my luck. But tonight we had a load that got canceled and rescheduled for the morning. I was recording all that, but I was kind of like, you know, it's kind of a little boring. All I was doing was kind of just dry, and I just felt like that was a little boring. It's going to be more of a chill video where we're going to play some video games, some Fortnite, and we're going to cook some Japanese A5 Wagyu in the back of my truck. I have some noodles. I'm debating on trying these noodles. I haven't tried these yet, so I think we might cook this up, some, some egg in it and all that stuff. So get ready to relax, grab some snack, and watch me live my life in the back of my truck. Vamos! We ran into one issue, boys. I don't know. Oh, there it is. There it is. I was like, where is my dang hotspot? Because if I don't have this, we can't game it up. Oh, God. Low battery. Oh, God. It's going to be a lonely night. Oh, wait. I have one. Guys, so before we start this video, I kind of just wanted to touch up on a little subject. Um, as you guys know, last week, I surprised my son with face rug. When I tell you guys that I got really emotional, it seeing my son be so happy 
him being his age, I know that he's gonna remember that for the rest of his life. Remember when I was that age, I went to Mexico for the very first time ever. And one of my uncles, my mom's brother, took me to go watch my first ever Lucha Libre match. And I remember I had no idea who these guys were, but I was so excited to go down there and meet them and get my uh, my one of my masks signed and all that stuff. And that's a core memory that I remember for like I've remembered ever since. And I, but that was just a moment that I remember forever. So like seeing how happy he was, he was literally so happy all day, man. And that as a dad, there's no price on that. I don't care how many followers Phase Rug has, how many views, like I don't care about any of that. He made my son's day, and that's priceless to me. Uh, but yeah, man, it's crazy. Oh, and I had a full circle moment. I went back to my old high school and I talked to the kids in hopes to try to motivate them to get out of whatever situation they're in. If you're watching this and you really want to do something, just know you can do it and you will do it. Just believe in yourself, stick to it. No matter if you don't see the results right away, keep it going, bro. We promise you eventually you will get to where you need to be in your life and it'll all be worth it. Enough of all the the TED talk, the, the whole little motivational speech get into cooking this a5 wagyu that we have in the back and get some sleep because i have to literally be up at five in the morning and make this dang delivery and then i gotta drive back down back home to the yard and spend some time with my family man be even though i've been gone for two days i missed them already i was home for almost two months it was time to get back to work and i had to do what i had to do man get to it i'm hungry i haven't ate all day got some spam some japanese a5 wagyu from the best carnicería gonzalez in bakersfield Udak. Bulldog noodles, and I'm ready to go straight to the restroom in the morning. One of the cool things about being a truck driver is that you get the luxury of being in your own truck. It still feels like you're at home. I got this bed, I got a fridge, I got my PlayStation, I got some food in there, I got a, a little hot pot. It, it doesn't get any better than that. We gotta put on, if you know, you know, South Beach Toe, man. I freaking love this show, I've always loved this show. Pick up some good A5 Wagyu steak and some Bulldog noodles. This is essentially my table. <laughs> Turn this baby on. Hopefully it has charge. Please, please have a battery. 22%? Mm, that's bad. It's it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. I really just broke my dang egg. Oh, no. <sighs> the Japanese A5. I should have covered it. Because now we got some black spots on here. Oh my god, that looks absolutely insane. Look at this, guys. This grade 10, by the way. Oh yeah. Damn, that was not supposed to happen. All right, now that we got it all mixed up, let's dig in, baby. Got some Japanese A5 in here. Look at that. Oh my God. Some egg. You're not supposed to make the noodles like this, but I can make them however I want. Oh my gosh.
That is so freaking delicious. Oh my God. You know my stomach's gonna hate me in the morning, but it's worth it. It was a good, good dinner right there, baby. Ow! <clears throat> My stomach is on fire, but this is so delicious. I was gonna add spam, but I thought, I already got some Japanese A5 Wagyu. There's no need to add this. I'll just save this for another time. That was a good dinner. I'm so full, I feel like I can go to bed right now. <laughs> oh man, now it's time to clean up so I can game it up by the way if you guys want to know where to get this at some some japanese a5 wagyu some alligator meat some duck anything go to my guy carniceria gonzalez time that i sent you and he's gonna hook you guys up now we can play some video games. Oh no. Did this just... It's not working? Mm -hmm. What? What in the world? There you go. Like, wait, what is going on? Why isn't it working? I thought my PlayStation had broke, man. I just don't know why it's not. Into here. Why does it keep turning off on me, bro? What's going on? guys that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much for watching all the way to the end after that happened once the playstation stopped working i was like you know what man this is probably a sign for me to get some rest because it was already almost two in the morning i believe and i had to be up by five i'm just gonna get some sleep once again guys thank you so much for watching all the way to the end if you did don't forget that on friday i will be uploading my brand new video with phase rug taking him on his very first ever trucking adventure so stay tuned for that what are you doing Thank you guys so much for all the support. I appreciate you guys. I don't take any of this stuff for granted. See you guys back again on Friday for a brand new trucking vlog. Vamos! Bye, <laughs>